All right, hey guys. Bam, it's Maxpedition time. Uh, so, you know, I've been very excited to get this review out to you guys. It's been a little bit over uh, a month since I bought this wallet, and I'm very pleased uh, with the usability, uh, usability I get out of this. So, let me just start off with some technical crap. So, this is called the Maxpedition Micro Wallet and uh, it comes in a couple of different colors uh, this is tacky or khaki I don't know how you would pronounce that but tacky uh, it also comes in black uh, OD green foliage green and uh, this tacky so I'm actually pretty pleased with this color um, I've grown to it and uh, I like it but the price on this wallet is around 10 to 11 dollars maybe tops 15 depends where you look I guess and the material this is made out of is uh, lightweight water resistant ballistic nylon um, that's what Maxpedition calls it and uh, alright so those were all the uh, technical crap uh, <laughs> you know that I just wanted to get out to you guys but now let's get to the usability well actually one more thing before I get to that there's something I wanted to mention because not everyone may like this uh, it says American design but it's made in Taiwan but seriously guys do not I mean do not even for one second uh, you know throw this guy out of your mind you know this is a great option do not let the made in Taiwan be you know just something that ruins your purchase you know if this is what you're planning to buy I'm 100% um, uh, convinced that it's definitely gonna uh, you know help you out in your EDC and this is a great wallet so let's get to the functions of the wallet um, let's start with the outside there's a uh, outer pocket and uh, mine is pretty worn in and pretty uh, stretched out stretched out because of um, the stuff I carry inside because I carry a lot of in uh, stuff inside it just kind of got stretched out a little bit but that doesn't cause a problem so if you're paranoid and you don't want to carry your money in here you can always just put a credit card or ID if you want, I don't know, something here or some business cards if you would like so you can put those there but if you're not paranoid and I'm not so this is what I do with it, this back pocket I put cash so there's just one bill let's say for instance that you put in there it's not falling out just you know Definitely no problemo, 100% secure. But if um, you know, it depends what kind of person you are. If you're, um, you know, just uh, paranoid and you don't want to put your cash down there because you think it's gonna get lost, fall out, get lost, something, then don't do that. It's just personal choice. You know, I don't care and um, I like it that way actually. So there's a. Uh, let me count. One, two, three four five six seven bills here so let me put those seven bills here and also do a test see no problem at all and I'm actually using a lot of strength and nothing is falling out as you can see so that's what I do with the outer pocket I put cash inside and on the inside what I do is I put a credit card in this first little um, slot and in the back I put another card inside along with uh, some pic you know, small pictures of some family members and if I ever write down a little note or something and I don't want to lose it then I just put it in this back little pouch uh, slot I mean but in here is where the problem is that everyone has been having this problem is the ID window this is a little bit of a design flaw but um, it's okay it's okay it's not that bad but uh, you know your ID fits and you can see it that's all good but what Maxpedition didn't do that I don't like about this uh, wallet 
but it doesn't actually bother me all that much, just a little bit. But they could have sewed this a little bit tighter so it doesn't fall out, but it's loose. It was like that from the beginning and your ID moves around and even falls out like that. You know, that's it doesn't even take a lot of force and it falls out, you know. But um guys, I've been carrying this for one month and it has been helping me a lot. This is very lightweight. Um, very compact and you have to consider I mean you have to even think a little bit about before buying this because you're not getting a lot of um, options with this wallet but what you do get is lightweight compact usability and that my friends right there is what I say it's okay it's good for me very good for me um, so and it goes in my right front pocket along with my cell phone so that's also a plus you can carry both a cell phone and this wallet in the same pocket that's that's just awesome that's amazing so one last thing I want to do is give you guys a little bit of a close-up of the stitching well, first off Max Expedition hard use gear and the stitching is excellent 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 very nicely done, Maxpedition. Just excellent stitching. It's hold, It's been holding up great for one month. I might do a little bit of an update. And actually, I've been thinking about getting the Maxpedition Urban and doing this as a switcheroonie, I guess. You know, just kind of switching back and, back and forth with this wallet. So I might do that. Um, I don't know yet, but that's an option. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a very, very, very nice wallet. Maxpedition, um, in my book, is outstanding. Outstanding. And this wallet is definitely, definitely something you guys should look into if you're looking for a small wallet and you're tired of the uh, leather wallets. So I hope you enjoyed. And I hope I did a good job reviewing this. And uh, let me see, I'm going to call this video the uh, Maxpedition, the ghost wallet, because this wallet just literally just disappears in your pocket. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe, stay sharp, and have a good day. Peace out. I recommend it. Peace.